Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Power Apps and in this video we are going to discuss client management system. So client management system like if you are running a business such kind of dance, yoga, zumba, aerobics, gym, mathematics classes, whatever classes in which you are by you are uh, you know uh, selling the package and customers are opting the packages. The packages means you are uh, providing packages for like one month service, two months, three months or six months services. So if you are selling such kind of services for a client then how you will understand when the service is going to be expired for your client. For that, I developed this application and you know, whenever a client is coming to, uh, you know, taking the services and if they are going to uh, buy the service at the time, you need to enter the data, that client data in this application, then this application will let you know when a package is going to be expired. So this is not like last feature for this application. There are lots of feature that we will discuss in this application like if you want to understand what is the what is the revenue generated for a month from a business how you will understand because if you're running a business you must need to know about your business revenue all right then if you know if you want to know like how many client has been registered for your application if then if suppose if you want to understand how many clients has been registered for a business in this current month then this application will let you know how many client is registered for this month all right so you know whenever uh, like i told you whenever a package is going to be expired then how a customer will notify that the package is expired so for that, I integrated WhatsApp API and then that WhatsApp API will notify to the customer that, hey user, your package is expired, please renew. So you will learn lots of things in this application like, uh, not, not the business actually, if you want, in like you are a developer obviously, then if you want to understand, you know, what is the concept behind gallery control in a Power Apps, Power Apps form, like we can say SharePoint uh, custom list form and CRUD operation, patch function and you know Power BI integration, WhatsApp API integration, lots of things that you will understand in this application. So stay tuned, stay connected and let's have a fun and if you didn't subscribe my channel then please subscribe my channel. Alright, here we go and this is our home page of our application. And here you can see we having multiple options. I'll let you know everything in the details. So here you can see choose a branch. Here you can choose the branch of your business. And then here you can see login and login as admin. The difference between login and login as admin is uh, suppose if you having different kind of privilege, you know, uh, you want like something you don't want to share with your receptionist. Basically, your application is going to, you know, used by your receptionist because they are going to enter the data into this application whenever a client is coming to, you know, take the packages, take the services. So at the time, you don't want like you don't don't want to share the company revenue, the business revenue with your receptionist. So that kind of privilege you can provide in this application. OK, so suppose if they are going to log in, you can hide that screen, the revenue screen. If you are going to log in, you can, you know, uh, show that screen. So for now, I have put it everything in, you know, in, uh, in in login only. So I didn't provide any kind of privilege, but because I'm having single user license for now. But yes, if you having multiple users login, then you can provide the permission over here. All right. So let's click on this login button and here you can see this is our pretty good looking dashboard so now here you can see we having active clients so the active clients means the clients the total number of clients they are active and inactive clients the total number of deactivated clients 
new clients means the total number of clients that registered for a month. Pending amounts means the total number of clients who having something pending. All right. So what does that mean? If you click over here, you can see if I choose this user, you can see this user having 2500 as a pending amount. And then month revenue. So this is the revenue of a current month. Whenever you will click over here, you can see you will get all the details over here. Like if, if you want to see for month February, you can see the revenue and you can see January, you can see the revenue and this is the dummy data. This is not realistic data because I just put it this data for demo purpose. So here you can see the revenue. And if suppose the, the most valuable feature is if suppose you having here inactive clients. So what do you mean by inactive clients? Like if the package is expired for a client and then you are going to send a notification to the user that hey user your package is expired please please renew so for that i just put it a whatsapp api over here you can see this package and whenever you will click on this button automatically the whatsapp will be open and here you can see hey neha my name is Anil Kumar from an Dance academy this is just gentle reminder that your package expired on this date please renew so this kind of message will be sent you know to the user and then also if they are going to discontinue then you can ask for the google reviews like say hey neha please provide google reviews and this is the google Re google business link okay and then these are new client and here you can see the profile picture i uploaded over here for a demo purpose new clients means the client are registered for a month and if you want you can add another client from here you can go over here and just choose the you know batch time if you're looking to add a client on a specific batch time then you, you need to choose the batch or if you are running a business in which batch time is not mandatory then you can directly add the user without batch you can just remove this drop down and you can use the you you can just create the user so for now here is the username mobile number batch time if you want you can choose something else over here and then package if you want you can just provide over here three months the price will come automatically if you are going to discount something you can just change is three to double zero and then branch is coming automatically and if you will see the registration date is 15th of Feb. then you can see the package expiration date is coming automatically because you chosen three months so it's adding 90 days in the package expiration you know in a registration date all right so whenever you will click on this button then this user will be added and the picture you can see use picture whenever you will click over here camera will be open and then you can just Take a picture of your client and then similarly payment image a screenshot and filled signed form sign form like if you having any kind of form the hard copy of the form that user is going to fill at the time of registration you can put over here and pending amount you can put over here whatever amount is pending for the user and the user status will go by default active if you want you can deactivate the user at any at any time but if you will see in the dashboard inactive clients from where this dashboard is coming because i'm not going to you know deactivate activate client manually so i just created a workflow the microsoft flow behind this you know data the sharepoint list if any user having expiration date less than today's date then this user will be deactivated automatically so this workflow is running every night at 12 a.m or 11 55 p.m whenever you want that will run automatically so this is a scheduled workflow and the package is coming from here if you will see here if you want to update the package you can update the package from here just update anything and click on update then automatically 
whenever you will click over here the same package you can pre-populate it over here whenever you will choose the package okay and if you want any user is coming again to take the services if that's already expired you can search the username like Vijaya okay and then just go over here added the user and change the registration date and change the status deactivated to activated then this user automatically will be removed from deactivated grid and it will come automatically in new clients so this new clients is coming on the basis of registration date for a month okay so this complete application we are going to create in this uh, you know in this video so stay tuned stay connected and if you didn't subscribe my channel then i would like to say please subscribe my channel so that you will get latest update and all the tips and tricks by me thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye see you